So to start off this step in the dresser, it's just like every other step. Uh, we need to dimension the boards. So we uh, start with rough planing and then smooth planing and get two surfaces nice and smooth. And that allows us then to mark off the actual dimensions of the board. Uh, here I'm placing a mark from one end to the other exactly four inches away from one side. And then I can come back through and smooth it right down to that line. And that way I end up with a board that is three quarter by four inches. Now that they're the right shape and size, we need to put tenons on either end. Uh, these will be the stretchers that go from one leg to the other across the front and back. So it's marked them to their precise length and cut in the shoulders on the tenons of each one. I like to cut the shoulders first and then um, cut the cheeks down to the shoulder. Here I'm using a cheap Japanese saw for the first time and I think it's going to be the last time too. Yeah, it worked, but uh, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it with a good one. Now for the front one, I want to put an arch all the way across from one end to the other. And I do this with a dowel. It is fairly easy to just adjust it between three clamps and draw my line. After this, it is my favorite part of this build. Well, oh, so far. I actually get to cut that arch um, just with a chisel and mallet. And I don't make any stop cuts just so that I can see this happen. And I get to make 20 or 30 of these curls from one side to the other. That's the reason I do hand tool woodworking right there. That's just fun. Once it's been roughed out with the chisel, I come back in with the spoke shave and clean it up nice and smooth. It makes me happy just to have a uh, long curved section like that. It's just beautiful. Now with the two stretchers done and uh, the way I want them, I can actually transfer the measurements from the tenons to the legs so that I can make the mortises. This is something I had to spend a lot of time thinking about uh, because they are thicker where they go into the leg and thinner where they come out the other side. Because it's a through tenon, it's got to be a perfect hole on both sides. You might hear the kids chiseling in the background that is them trying to mimic what I do on their own wood. But I just start chopping out the mortise uh, from one end to the other with the bevel edge of the chisel in the direction that I am traveling. Once I take it all the way down, I'll take it down about three quarters of an inch, then I will bring in the, uh, the brace and drill out almost to the other side. I, I like to do it once I've carved a bit of a trough because that holds the bit in place. Then it's flip the board over and do it again, chopping the halfway through to uh, the other side. Once you finally start to break through, it becomes a lot of fun, and it's just cleaning up the hole a little bit. My tenons don't always fit perfectly the first time, and uh, most of the time I have to fit them in and adjust them and make things tweaked a little bit to, to make them work. This particular one I had to pull it out a couple times and uh, thin up the tenon or adjust the mortise. But that's about it. So the dresser is actually coming along and I am loving this. When this project gets done, it is going to be, well, it's gonna be one of my favorites of all time. Um, this suckers is beefy and huge and a lot of fun. So I've been working on all of the uh, the main stretchers uh, this particular video and these ones this one will be in the front it's the one with the arch and the one in the back doesn't have an arch can't be seen so I just left that one without um, all of them are then mortise and tenon uh, so that the tenons overlap with the stretchers on the sides and they're pretty straightforward uh, this is just one of those steps I really had to think through a lot because uh, this particular stretcher determines a lot more about the dresser. Not only its width, um, but then the height of the, the, the drawers and everything else involved with that. So um, this is a, a fun step of the project. So the next things I have coming up, number one, I'm going to be building uh, the support between the stretchers to hold the first rank of drawers and then putting in all of the other support between uh, the other rows of drawers and creating all that. So this one's probably going to be a while longer until I get that video because I have to cut uh, 40 some boards 
and uh, by hand, that's a good bit, especially when a lot of them are five foot long. <laughs> so this is gonna be a fun process. I am going to be putting in a dust shelf in between every drawer. Um, so we're gonna be going over the steps involved with that. So that's what we have so far on the dresser. Um, I hope you like this. Uh, please let me know in the comments below, is there something I could have done better or something you would have liked to have seen? Uh, if there was some particular step I skipped, uh, please let me know and I will uh, answer any questions on that matter. If you like the video, please hit like or subscribe. And until next time, have a wonderful day.